got to think there's going to be some competition for bonus money in this one. The kicks are going to be flying early and often. He's one of the better kickboxing practitioners we have in this division. Yeah, when he can make you fight him in a kickboxing fight, I mean, you would imagine you're watching this guy in glory or something yeah. because he's so good in this specific area of fighting. He mixes everything up so well from in close, and he's so comfortable in close. He's rolling his shoulders, rolling right to leg kicks. He will batter and bruise you and beat you up from in close. He's amazing. You better take this dude down if you want a chance to win this fight. Right. No, you put it well, and he has adapted his style very well to mixed martial arts, but when the fight is on the feet, caution flammable. So here we go, another huge fight, and let us focus on this outstanding striker. A lot of people felt like he could have gone the professional boxing realm. Your thoughts on him coming in here tonight? Yeah, very few boxers of this caliber have this amount of success inside the octagon. Because the reality is this. He fights in a boxing stance. His legs are pretty wide. He does a good job of rolling his shoulders. But he also is able to stay upright. It's very rare that a guy possesses this skill set and can defend the takedowns. He's a tremendous boxer. He's developed the takedown defense. At his best, he is standing with his feet apart, popping the jab, and using everything behind that jab. You are absolutely right. And he has found that striking flow state pretty early throughout his UFC career. Game has slowed down for him a little bit defensively, seeing things well. We'll see how he handles this matchup tonight. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Yetche Madeiros! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Tim Dirty Bird Means! Herbert Dean's in the building, he's the third man in the octagon Great. tonight. All right, as we get underway here, DC, your thoughts on this striking matchup on one side, primarily a boxer, on the other side, his opponent incorporates the kicks as well. Well, the kickboxer, to me, has the advantage because he can reach his opponent at a further distance. He can throw kicks before the boxer is in range. Now, for the boxer, he needs to get close. He needs to eliminate the kicks and use his pressure to allow him to be in boxing range. Oh, you can hear that thwack in the nosebleeds as the kickboxer lands a body kick early here in the fight against the boxer. I mean, this is the range that he needs to fight at. He doesn't want to be close where he's throwing hooks to the body and punches. Use those legs. Dig that shit into the body and try to slow down your hope. Nice straight there by Meeks. Man, this is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch each other. They're trying to put each other out with every shot. John, with every shot, these guys are trying to end the fight. What a start. Oh! So more output, at least in the early going. All right, early round one action here, and somewhat surprising to see the boxer not check these leg kicks, right? He felt like it would be a factor in the fight, and the kickboxer is absolutely having his way up. It's always one thing to say what you're going to do, but to implement those things, to be able to do it against that guy is very difficult. And to this point, he has not been able to pick up on the leg kick. That shot is blocked by Medeiros. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. He 
closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Beautiful kick to the body. Down to three minutes now to go in the round. Jab is on point right now. Just out of range with that left hook. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to it. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Two minutes now to go in round one. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not head-hunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now. He's starting to show himself. Clean with the right hook. He gets a single collar back. Look at him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Nice These guys are going at it. Elbow now blocked by Medeiros. Oh, he cut him. Nasty cut on his lip. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Kick to the body by means. Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here. The punch is good. Let me see that hook now. Slips the punch. Hands high, hands high. Those are the body kicks that'll crumble you. Another huge oh. kick is true. Horn out for the end of round one. Right, so that round is in the books. Darius's corner has some work to do. They're going to take a look at that lip. Hopefully the cut man can do his thing and just make sure that it doesn't continue to bleed and provide further adversity for him in this fight. All right, let us show you the highlights now from that previous round, of which there were a lot, including the strike that we believe was the one that opened up his lip. He opened up a cut on the lip. It's bleeding pretty good. It's not in a horrible spot, though. It will hurt whenever he gets punched on the lip again, but it's not under the eye, it's not on the brow. He can get through this. He's just got to be a little more careful. And he told us in the fighter meeting he likes the taste of his... Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well timed with the short uppercut and the clinch by means. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. Nice hook there by me. He did a great job of blocking that punch. And do a work with the jab. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has thrown out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. 
He lived up to the expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. All right, so he lands again just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game. You know why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Means his nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the bridge. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh, nice counter jab there. Lead kick landed there by Yancey Medeiros. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace and uptaken the aggression and the output and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Locked that one. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Unable to connect with the right hand there. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous round. Under two minutes to go. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. Oh! He's got to move. They're going to stop this fight if he doesn't move. Just misses with the kick. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business. And they are going to need him right now. He's going to get a Oh, he escapes! He got out the beat. Wow, that is great submission defense. Yancey getting work from the top here. These ground and pound strikes very effective. Let's see if he tries to work his way back to his feet. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Submission defense. Work. We you up. We need to work. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round of pump. Madera's going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes. Mixing it up pretty well. Left eye starting to shut a little bit. That bear's watching. Two rounds in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. 
Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Switch, he lands the body. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Lands another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swell. He can't miss, J.A. Right, and when you saw the swell in the mission, you know, he knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that. And while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's going to find himself in a dire situation. That was a massive high kick. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. So I'm gonna hit you and then you hit me back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it, the, the blood, the injuries only add to the entry. It only adds to who's gonna continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough. They really have laid it on the line. Just out of range with that strike. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Means is blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Oh! Just over three minutes to go in round three. Both are prepared. These are the types of fights that we expect. Means is cut on his nose. Manageable for a while. Maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. Oh, another one. Now he's back up. Unable to land with that punch. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Nice punch to the head. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to ride in with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fight. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Another one. Means it's really bleeding heavily now. That cut is only getting worse by the minute. They're trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Nice little short up cut there. Got the single collar tie. Oh! Oh, we told you we'd keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now, and he continues to target that area wise. Well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad. But as he continues to target it, you can start to see it opening up. Look for him to continue to go down that route to try to get this victory. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. He's got to hurt. He's got to hurt. He's got to hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now. What? Oh! Another knockdown! These guys are leaking all over each other. Pushes up Neil Belly. He's raining down Brawling Crawl. He has to move or the fight is going to get stopped. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 20 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tim, the Dirty Bird, me.
Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party today. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.